Mariah, when you became a CEO of Bayer five years ago, you were the first American, first non-German uh, to run the company. And at the time, you said that you wanted to embrace the best of American corporate uh, culture. Why was that a priority for you? Well, I saw tremendous opportunities uh, at Bayer to, um, to combine the very strong Bayer culture of being very good at R&D, very good at planning, very thorough, sticking with your strategy, with a sense of entrepreneurialism and, and go-to-market intensity that you see in the U.S. And I think I've been able to do that, bring in that, that entrepreneurialism into Bayer without uh, undoing the very strong strength that were already there. You know, changing a culture is really hard to do, especially for a company like Bayer that's 150 year old. What's the lesson here? Well, the lesson here is that 95% um, of it doesn't need to be changed. Okay, so make sure that the 95% doesn't get confused, stays on target. And just on some things that are very important to you, work on that without giving people the impression that the whole thing is put upside down. In terms of your own career, what's the best advice that you've ever gotten? When I became CEO of uh, Thermo Electron uh, when I was 42, Michael Porter, the professor of Harvard, business professor, was on our board. And he told me, we have this course at Harvard for new CEOs, and uh, you should take it. So, okay, I was glad to. The first assignment we had was for dinner, is that we had to give our going away speech. And that was for me the best lesson ever because it forced me as a new CEO to prepare my going away speech at the beginning of my tenure and not the end. And that notion that I was now, you know, having clarity about what I wanted to say when I leave was a, a, a tremendous guide for, you know, the 10 years that I was there.